Considered the largest city in the world in 541. Constantinople begins to notice the emergence of cases of a mysterious disease. Gradually, with the great flow of merchant ships and the presence of people from all over the world. The number of cases increases and sick people start to die. Months later, in the spring of the following year, the city of Constantinople reaches the number of 5,000 deaths per day. From then on, until the year 750, this mysterious disease would spread to various parts of the world, killing more than 30 million people. As you can see, diseases that spread rapidly around the world are not unique to this decade. In this video I will show you the five biggest pandemics of the last 2000 years, pandemics that killed the most. And if you like videos about curiosities, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, we are sure that you will like the content that we will bring here on the channel. Infectious diseases, which are those that one person can transmit to another, have always existed throughout human history. The problem is that they have become more and more frequent. One reason is that our current living conditions facilitate, and greatly facilitate, the transmission of these diseases. Nowadays in human beings we have more contact with other people more frequently and with greater quantity. What was not very common thousands of years ago when human beings still lived in small populations of hunter-gatherers around the world. After a while, with the rise of cities and people living closer to each other, pandemics started to be more common. Until nowadays, when with the globalized world, a virus can spread throughout the planet in less than four months and change our whole routine and customs. The Prague of Justiniano The Justinian plague got its name because it happened in the Byzantine Empire during the reign of the first Justinian emperor, who had the disease and survived. It was caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis, which is transmitted by the flea bite lice or bite of infected mice. The lack of hygiene and sanitation and the large flow of people from all over the world through the city of Constantinople. The largest metropolis on the planet at the time, intensified the spread of this bacterium, which killed more than 30 million people between the years 541 and 750. This represented more than 10% of the world population at the time. Just imagine today, 10% of the population would be more than 700 million people. Yersinia pestis didn't just cause Justinian's plague. Years later, it also caused another pandemic, which you have probably heard of, which is Black Death, the second pandemic in this video. The Black Pest The Black Death, or Bubonic Plague, was definitely the biggest and worst pandemic in history, it killed more or less 75 million people between 1343 and 1353. That's right, in 10 years 75 million people died. A lot of people are dying from the same disease in such a short time. 40% of Europe's population died of the Black Plague, which created a major economic crisis during the plague years. After the bacteria infect people, the lymph nodes, especially those in the armpit and neck, become swollen and darken. This very specific characteristic caused this disease to be called the Black Death. Most infected people died within seven days after the first symptoms, because at that time there was still no antibiotic, which is the medicine that kills bacteria. In fact, the first antibiotic was not discovered until 1928, much later. These are Black Plague doctors, people who were hired by governments to not only treat the sick, but also to count the death toll and warn about the outbreaks of the disease. They wore this long mask because at the time they believed that the Black Death disease was transmitted through the air, so these doctors used this nose mask with fragrant essences on the tip to protect themselves from the disease. And it was at that time that the term quarantine appeared. Ships arriving from voyages were anchored in the ports for 40 days to ensure that if someone there was infected, the disease would manifest itself at that time and would not spread. Several other outbreaks of bubonic plague occurred in the following centuries, even killing tens of millions of people over the course of history. 
the bubonic plague has never really disappeared. We continue to live with it, but now we have control, there is better sanitation and urban cleaning, which has reduced cases, and especially today we have antibiotics to treat. The Varilla In the year 1520, a new pandemic calls attention. Caused by a virus that is transmitted by air and by contact between people, thus the smallpox pandemic arises, smallpox causes red spots and blisters throughout the body. There are already reports of smallpox outbreaks before 1520, but from that date on, the pandemic was so serious that 90% of the population living in the Americas was killed after the arrival of Europeans, who brought the virus here, destroying entire empires such as the Aztec. Just as Americans had no natural immunity against this type of virus, they were wiped out. The pandemic continued for many years, killing 30% of those infected and leaving serious consequences for survivors. Until the end of the 18th century, a doctor managed to create a smallpox vaccine, which was even humanity's first vaccine. It was thanks to the vaccine and a lot of effort around the world that smallpox, after killing 56 million people, was eradicated in 1979. A great victory for mass vaccination. The Spanish Flu In 1918 a flu was spreading around the world, it was the Spanish Flu, that flu was caused by the H1N1 virus, which killed at least 40 million people in two years. And although it bears that name, it did not appear in Spain. In 1918, in the middle of the First World War, Spain was one of the few countries to remain neutral in the war. Then, there, journalists were free to report what was happening in the world, while other countries ignored the pandemic in the news. Since only Spain reported the disease, people around the world who read Spanish newspapers assumed that the virus appeared there, but the source of that virus is still unknown. And look, at that time there was also fake news about the pandemic, because they said it was caused by a medicine produced in Germany, and fake news about prevention, because some said that eating chocolate three times a day prevented people from getting this influenza virus. But at the end of the day, with a lot of collective effort, humanity learned several lessons from the Spanish flu and among them that the best way out of a pandemic is to invest in public health. AIDS the fifth pandemic in this video is not the coronavirus, it is AIDS. AIDS is a disease caused by the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, which is transmitted through unprotected sex, in accidents with infected needles and sharp objects, in the transfusion of contaminated blood, or from mother to child during pregnancy and breastfeeding. This virus has killed more than 25 million people in the world since 1981. It is the fifth largest pandemic in history in number of deaths. And this pandemic has taught many to humanity. The use of condoms to protect against sexually transmitted infections, the end of the practice of reusing syringes, are some examples of lessons learned from the AIDS pandemic. Did you know the five biggest pandemics? So leave your comment, leave your thumbs up on this video and subscribe to this channel. Thanks. And until the next video.